guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and Mighty Mask is the newest unit to get a Dokkan Awakening uh, from the World Tournament. Uh, funny enough, I've never actually rainbowed this guy until just now, um, despite the fact that I got him, you know, full dupes from his initial World Tournament. He just wasn't really relevant enough at the time, but uh, now he's, he's okay. Um, I think he's actually, I mean, for the World Tournament category team and how limited and bad it is, I, I, getting another rainbow for world tur the World Tournament team is definitely not going to be the worst thing ever. Um, and then, of course, he's also on the Majin Buu Saga team. This guy could have some limited usage, um, I think, maybe as, like, the last unit on your team in, like, Majin Buu Saga Extreme Super Battle Road or something like that. Because, I mean, this Mighty Mask does have guaranteed dodging, kind of like in UI Goku if Mighty Mask falls below a certain HP threshold, which would be interesting. So, um, I'm going to get this guy to full level 10 links, um, since he's a brand new unit. And again, you know, World Tournament is so, like, there's just no power in the World Tournament category at all. So, I don't mind getting another level 10 link unit for that team. So, uh, this will be a level 10 link video. Let me just go ahead and get his links all done. I mean, obviously, right now, his links are full level 1, because he's only an SSR, so... Um, but we'll continue on once I've got him at full level 10 links. All right, guys. So we are here in an event. Um, I managed to get our boy Mighty Mask to full level 10 linkaroos here. Um, now, again, one thing that's going to hamper this guy is how, uh, like, weird he is, right? Like, if we take a look at his link set, I mean, World Tournament Reborn, uh, you know, Flea. Like, he just has a bunch of sort of, like, bullshit. Uh, just, like, really bad links that are, are garbage, basically. Um, and his lack of teams. I mean, he really should be on Hybrid Saiyans. You know, it's Goten and Trunks. Should be on Hybrid Saiyans. They should be on Super Saiyans. You know, there's just more teams to get this character on. Now, initially, with our opening turn, we've got a decent turn here. I mean, because look at them, right? 172k defense, right? They get 50% defense on Super. So, like, that's, that's decent. I mean, this is, of course, with the 50% support type unit, um, Gohan is on rotation, which has got a lot to do with it, right? Because, again, they greatly raise attack and defense for one turn. Now, typically with a lot of these level 10 link showcases, you know, I'll, I'll take a unit into a bunch of different teams and shit like that. But, like, world tournament, that's not, it's, it's nothing. I think it's literally nothing, right? World tournament, like, that's not a team that I'm going to run. Uh, the best leader for the team uh, is now Yamlin's Popovich. <laughs> Like, but, like, they're 77%. Like, World Tournament's not, like, legit, right? So, Mighty Mask has only got one D. Um, and it's like, you know, he does have this guaranteed dodging if your health falls really low, which surely could be good at, you know, for some challenge runs and stuff like that. That's why, again, I think if this guy had, like, you know, Hybrid Saiyans and Super Saiyan as well and stuff like that, it could be interesting. Because, you know, think of how crazy the pure Saiyan um category is right like you, you everyone would agree it's got the best roster at pure saiyan is the best team in the game right now with the dokkan fest super vegeta for sure um but even when i did the no item run for the vegeta extreme super like the um pure saiyan extreme super battle road stage i brought the free to play in yard drag goku because he's just he's so like situationally good um all right 1.92 right there is not impressive in any way his defense is really quite good though Again, he's well over 200. I mean, he's, what, like 240, 230k defense, something like that? That's really quite good for this guy. Um, and again, if our health would fall below 50%, um, he would he gets guaranteed dodge uh, when your health falls below 50%, which, again, it, it is, is pretty solid, right? Like, that's definitely um, a really good ability. We know from Int UI Goku um, how strong that guaranteed dodge ability is. It really is quite clutch, right? Um, and then Mighty Mask also has guaranteed dodge for one turn when HP is 30% or less. So, you know, if you get lucky, you could get two turns of guaranteed dodge with Mighty Mask, which is very interesting. Um, the only thing is that... Uh, okay, so the first turn he gets guaranteed dodge under 50% HP, right? Then after that, if your HP is 50% or less, you get a 50% chance to dodge. I mean, I don't know. I, that's pretty good. I, as long as you're at low health, this guy is, like, a really nice option, honestly. Um, okay, this is... Uh, I don't. LR Trunks and Goten are probably going to get clapped up. All right, so we have, what, the Innocence, 
Shocking Speed and Shattering the Limit all activated. Let me do this. This will heal us up a little bit. Although this Gohan is not full level 10 links for me yet. This Gohan right here. Um, all right, let, let's see what Mighty Mass does in this rotation. Again, we're, I mean, we're not going to see the best stats ever from this guy, right? Um, we're not going to see the most situations where he's really good. It's just, if you're using this Mighty Mask, um, what you're doing is, you know, it'd be like a difficult, like, you know, run like this. Maybe, I mean, if World Tournament got like a real leader and then it had like, you know, okay, so what was that? 2.19 right there we got up to? Okay. Again, his defense really is quite good. Um, 2.38 right there. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Um... How much damage will he take? Yeah, double digits. I think even a super attack, I, I think Mighty Mask would tank it fairly well. Like, from even, from, like, you know, uh, like, most of the Vegetas in this event. Like, where, you know, I'm doing the showcase in the Legendary Vegeta event. Oh, are we dead? Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> we did live. Okay. Um. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a double King Yama right here. Uh, and so next turn we can show... Mighty Mask with his guaranteed dodging. That'll be sick. Uh, I think I'm going to keep... Yeah, I'm going to keep the uh, the Vegitos. I'll keep them together, and I'll probably fuse with one of them next turn. Okay. All right, so this is pretty good. So we're going to go in. We're going to see the turn of guaranteed dodging. Now, you could get lucky or unlucky with this Mighty Mask unit as well, right? Keep in mind that he gets guaranteed dodging when you fall below 50% HP, and he also gets guaranteed dodging when you fall below 30% HP, right? Um, so, like, you could potentially have two... If you're lucky and you fall exactly in the threshold, you could get two turns of guaranteed dodging, right? You know, in some of these difficult events, right, again, like, if World Tournament would have a, a category mission added to the GT Legendary Goku event or the Legendary Vegeta event or something like that, like, that would be really good. Um, you know, th this guy definitely could be useful for that, but he's just a very highly limited unit. Um, I feel like they could have given him a little bit more. I think, again, people are going to say, what a shock, but if you also gave this guy, like, um... Right, so we link up pre uh, pretty well with Great Saiyan Man, right? We have Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, and Shattering Limit. Um, if you would give this guy, like, all allies two key as well... Right? Or, like, all allies, two key, 20% attack and defense or something. Just something like that. I mean, I know people roll their eyes when I say that for, like, every single unit that comes out. But it's, like, for a lot of these characters, you know, especially, like, Mighty Mask right here. Um, the thing about him is that his link set is wonky. And there's not a lot of, like, places to run him that doesn't drag down the team, right? When you're not doing, like, a challenge run. So, you know, by enabling him to help make the team more cohesive even with bad links, you then make the unit more runnable, like more sustainable to bring into the team and actually be able to contribute, right? It's like, yeah, it's great. He's got the Super Saiyan link and shattering the limit and shocking speed, I guess. Like a couple of these, you'll get active, but you know, flee World Tournament Reborn more than meets the eye. You're probably not going to have those links active. I mean, more than meets the eye. I think physical Kid Buu does have, like Kid Buu units have got that. Yeah. Um, so maybe that maybe like an LR Kid Boo in the future. Maybe. I mean, we'll see. All right, let's get this turn going. Uh, remember that, again, Mighty Mask has guaranteed dodging on this turn. Um, and any subsequent turns after this, where we would enter the turn under 50% HP, Mighty Mask would then have a 50% chance to dodge. Now, I, you know, I am establishing that his defense is really quite good. All uh, right? Because it's like, you know, if he gets 50% chance to dodge and he's rocking nearly 250k defense that's really good um but you know you guys get what i'm saying with him right like it's just he's just very highly limited it's he's an interesting quirky little unit um he is definitely something that's needed for at least the world tournament category team because of just like how i mean that's just it's just dead right it's just a dead category world tournament is actually probably the worst category in the game i guess <clears throat> yeah, I mean, a World Tournament is probably worse than, like, Ginyu Force and Team Bardock and stuff like that. At least they have, like, actual leaders you can run. All right, so I probably would say, um, yeah, the, the worst worst team is probably World Tournament. Because, like, even Namekian, you know, Namekian can do good. You know, you could take the Namekian team. You could go beat, like, a lot of the, the you know, you could beat God of Sage and stuff with the Namekian team. Right? I mean, a lot of it has to do with Dokkan Fest Piccolo and Nail and stuff like that. But, like, you could still do it. 
Right, you're not taking the World Tournament team and you're not beating uh, God Event Sages with it, right? Like, <laughs> that, that, that's it's not happening. So, um, that, that's why, like, Namekian... I mean, again, Ginyu Force, if those units got an EZA, that team could, you know, be fun, you know, for free-to-play players, stuff like that. Same with Team Bardock, right? You know, there's, there's some new characters we could see. I do think Dragon Ball Z Bardock could get a Dokkan Fest, um... Because he doesn't have, like, he doesn't have one, right? Like, the the transforming Super Saiyan Bardock, that's not, like, you know, the, the Dragon Ball Z Bardock from the Frieza movie. And they can make that, that animation look way better. Like, Bardock's last attack against Frieza. Like, they, they could make Dragon Ball Z Bardock a Dokkan Fest, and I would not be shocked if they did at some point as well. All right, so, remember, on this turn, we have a, whatchamacallit, we have a 50% chance to dodge on this turn. How are we doing in terms of... Just those same links with Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. Uh, we, of course, have got the big support coming from Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2 right there. We're not going to die here, are we? What is our defense? 183k? No, we should be okay. I'll... I'll heal. I I'm, I'm just going to heal up anyway, just to make sure. But uh, we, we, we should be fine. We'll probably make this last rotation again. There's not really too much I could do or say with this Mighty Mask unit, man. Again, it's, it's very basic, right? 150% attack and defense, another 150% attack and defense against one enemy. Like, where you want to be using this guy, again, would be in the future. If there's a world tournament mission for, like, Legendary Vegeta event or something like that. You know, it, it, he could be good for a Boo Saga mission as well, I guess. There's the dodging. And again, his defense is, like, 250k at least or something like that with the chance to dodge. So, like, he, he can be solid for one of these stages for sure. Um, And it's, like, with around 250k defense too, by the way... It's not... He doesn't need the dodge to be good, right? Um, he, he's he's able to get the job done with his defense as well. He's okay. I think they could have did a little bit more for him because of how limited he is with his bad links and only two category teams. But he's not, like, dog shit or anything, right? His defense was fairly impressive because he's getting 50% defense for the turn on every super attack. So, I mean, you know, Mighty Mass looked okay. He, he looks fine, I guess. Alright, so this is Mischievous Child's Full Power, Mighty Mask. Um, leader skills, physical type, key 3, and 70% of stats, so fodder. Uh, the super attack is the final cannon, which greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, and does supreme damage to the enemy. Again, you know, that extra 50% defense on super attack is very strong, um, and that <coughs> can help push this uh, Mighty Mask to good defensive levels. His passive skill, Mysterious Rhythm, gives him 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he gets an additional 150% attack and defense when facing only one enemy. So, you know, it, the dodge, like, you definitely can bring him into Super Battle Road and he'll still be super good. Like, in UI Goku, you know, situationally is a god in, like, Super Battle Road, no matter what, right, with the guaranteed dodging. So you definitely can have that. Like, you could be a free-to-play player, and this Mighty Mask could help guarantee you victory in, like, you know, Majin Buu Saga Extreme Super Battle Road or something, right? For sure. You know, if there's ever a World Tournament Super Battle Road stage, this Mighty Mask will probably be really good in that, right? So even though, you know, he gets, you know, most of his buff from fighting one enemy, which is stupid that they limit... I know it's because he's fighting... They're fighting Android 18, but still, like, come on. Um, but, you know, again... I, you could use them in Super Battle Road, but they're going to suck unless you've got the dodge. The, guar the guaranteed dodge is, is going to be their utility for Super Battle Road, right? Um, so, again, 150% attack and defense start a turn. Another 150% attack and defense against one enemy. Again, they get the guaranteed dodge uh, for one turn if HP is 50% or less. Um, you know, once only, right? Um, and then after that, when they're below 50% HP at the start of turn, they get a 50% chance to dodge. And then they also get guaranteed dodge for one turn when HP is 30% or less. So if you go into, like, let's say turn one, you're at 100% HP, then they're on, you know, turn two, and you go into that turn at, like, 10% HP or something like that. You know, even though they could technically get two turns of guaranteed dodge, you'd only get the one, right? Both would proc at the same time, the under 50% and the under 30%. So ideally, you would enter our turn where you're at, like, 40% HP, right? And then, you know, uh, later on, you'd enter a turn where you're at, like, 20% HP. Now, remember, it is rather tough um, to end up just, you know, conveniently below 30% HP. Typically, I've found that, like, at, those are very rare occasions, right? Like, you know, all my time using LR in cell across the game, I've never, you know, consistently been able to transform with him. Um, there's a lot of RNG involved, but falling under 50%, that's not that bad. 
Uh, so you should see this guy get some guaranteed dodging when you are using him. His links are really wonky. Super Saiyan, World Tournament Reborn, more than meets the eye. The Innocence, Shocking Speed, Flea, and uh, Shattering the Limit. Um, I mean, you know, Super Saiyan is good, obviously. Um, Shocking Speed, you know, the, like the Goku and Vegeta have got that and stuff. But, you know, it's just weird. Like, World Tournament Reborn. Again, you're probably not going to be running this guy on the same team as Kid Buu. Uh, I mean, we'll see what an LR Kid Buu would look like in the future, but I doubt Mighty Mask and Kid Buu would work well together. So, selling more than... Is there any other characters to have that on Buu Saga? Um, no. Because, like, Champa, Fat Janemba, Copy Vegeta, all right? Like, Ribrian. It's, it's a bullshit link. Um, yeah, Super Saiyan, World Turn Reborn, More Than Meets the Eye, Innocence, Shocking Speed, Flea, Shattering Limit. Oh, boy. Uh, 12 key multipliers, 140%, which is, you know, typical for these types of units. Actually, there is an EZA. He would be... Oh, wow. The Int Ultimate Gohan EZA. Uh, this guy actually might be legitimately, like, one of the better options for that. Like, you know, even with, like, Buhan and characters like that. Because, you know, you're fulfilling all of his conditions, one enemy. And then, you know, if you're trying to struggle through an EZA, you're definitely going to fall, get very, very low in terms of HP thresholds. So, this guy, this Mighty Mask... Um, he could help out quite a bit, actually, you know, in terms of uh, getting Zenny from that in Ultimate Gohan EZA. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, and then finally, again, kind of a negative here that our boy, we've only got the two category teams, World Tournament. One reason I was eager to get this guy to level 10 links immediately uh, is just how bad this World Tournament category team is. Probably, again, the worst category in the game at this point. Um, and then he's also on Boo Saga, which did not need his help, but, you know, Boo Saga is a good team. Um, although, you know, I would like to see a new Buhan, a new Kid Buu. When I say new Buhan, not, you know, Buu tanks, but we do need a new Buhan as well. Like, standalone Buhan, new Kid Buu. There's still a lot more they can do with the Buu saga, right? Um, so let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.